Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, March 30th, and hopefully this video finds you doing well. Today we are going to look at the latest Pioneer League dump. It came out this morning, and we've got a good 39 decks in this uh, dump, which is pretty high for what we've been seeing out of Pioneer lately. So hopefully there's some nice spice in here. So let's go take a look. First off, we have... A, this is kind of a uh, Simic Stompy, and it's only Simic, it looks like, for Uro, which is a good thing to splash for, definitely. Uh, but definitely a uh, Stompy-ish deck. I don't know if I'd call it Ramp, per se. No, it's pretty much Stompy. Uh, trying to get up to casting Emrakul's with the help of Nyssa and a few other ways to go about it. So if you like casting big stuff, take a look at this. Genmatsu, nice list. Magnificent Magikarp with Mono Black, uh, Scrap Heap Scroungers, Life Bane Zombie, cool. A uh, little green or white color hate there. I like that. I remember that from Standard back in the day. Uh, okay, yeah, there's a little tweak on Mono Black. Jim Downside with uh, this is ramp we've got hour of promise oh this is the unexpected results deck okay yep so another simic deck this one is trying to cheat out big things by casting smaller things and uh, or by casting unexpected results and seeing what you get that way uh, fun little deck yeah I, I like the the Shuffle and see what you get type effects, uh, as you've probably seen out of my EDH decks posted it in other places. Plane Chaser with Mono Red. Uh, we are topping out at Torbran and a couple Ember Cleaves. Rampaging Ferocidon main, a couple of those. Um, but yeah, here's a uh, configuration of Mono Red you may like. Give it a shot. G hash 77 with Mono White. Four Heliod, four Ballista, three Daxos. Pretty straightforward. Uh, two Ajani, two Gideons. Uh, the number of Gideons has been cut a little bit, it looks like. Not running Gideon's Intervention either. Um, maybe a little more effective against uh, Demir Inverter as some of the prior... You know, not not as focused on Demir Inverter, let's put it that way. Utia with a 5-0 with blue-white control. Uh, Azorius Charms, Do one Dovin's Veto. A couple cast outs. A fair number of Planeswalkers for the Threat Suite. Four Supreme Verdicts, no creatures main deck. And no uh, two Dream Trawlers are the only creatures in the sideboard. So this is definitely a con uh, Planeswalker control deck. Darth Kid with Demir Inverter. And two Heroes Downfall main. An Ashiok main. And that's mostly what we got going on here. Mom's Basement Streams. Nice name. I like it. Uh, we've got another mono black deck here for Gifted Aetherborn main. Oh, this is the Vampire's deck with Soren. Yep. So, different threat mix, different approach to mono black. And uh, definitely, yeah, it's fun. Been around for a while. So Soren Imperius Bloodlord is a strong card. Schwiggity with Feather. Boros Feather, nothing too surprising here that I see. Nope. Uh, only a 12 card sideboard. That's a little odd. Uh,. Little flex there, getting the 5 0 with a 12 card sideboard. Nice. Uh, but yeah, that's Feather. Stainerson with Mono Red, Sword of Burn, Lightning Strike, Wild. I mean, 12 burn spells, and well, 16 with Skewer the Critics. Uh, yeah, this is kind of like a Mono Red Burn deck. Obviously, not as efficient as Modern because you don't have Lightning Bolt, but it's up there. Uh, you could call this Mono Red Wizards, I guess. 
if we're going with a wizard's lightning because we've got uh, pyromancer soul scar mage is a wizard gitu lava runner is a wizard so you got 12 wizards to help with your wizard's lightning so it could be mono red wizards logarithmic probably uh, might be playing on a mac who knows with black red um just kind of black red mid range i uh, know this is john we got question beasts too and Vraska, yep four tireless tracker that's a statement in the main deck uh so this i we saw a john deck i don't know if the build was the same i'd have to go back and look but we saw a john deck last dump and I'm wondering if uh, that's starting to become a thing. This is two dumps in a row now. It'll be interesting to see when we look at the preliminaries if uh, any of these Jund decks are putting up results in those tournaments. Visitor 636 with uh, enchantments. A lot of enchantments. 29 of them, in fact. Demonic Pact. Is this a... Uh, combo. We got Doom Foretold, Starfield. Huh. This is sort of a board control deck with the Doom Foretolds. So it's a de demonic pack deck, really. I guess Flicker Fate resets your demonic pact. Final payment. You can sacrifice it. So this is a pack deck. Black white. Interesting. I like that. That's spicy. That, that's that's some creativity there. Nice five zero there. Uh, Visitor six three six. Nice. The nobodies with a. Are we mono red? No, we are blue red. I'm sitting here staring at an island, asking if we're mono red. Uh, this is is it? It's not. It's basically is it mid range. It's a little aggressive, but we do go all the way up to short Torch of Defiance, Heart of Kirin. Just kind of a solid is it deck. It's not doing in Soul. It's not doing uh, Phoenix, Arclight Phoenix. So yeah, just a straightforward is it deck. Nice, Baymax. He's back or they're back uh, with black. Green Sacrifice. Gruesome Menagerie. Coco. So the Port Cutthroat. Priest. Plague Crafter. Black Green. Black. It's not an Aristocrat deck because there isn't an Aristocrat in it, but it's an Aristocrat deck. Weapon Craft Enthusiast. I like that card. I really like the Fabricate mechanic. That was fun. Nice, nice decision point when you cast those cards. J65536D or with uh, Niv Mizzet. And what do we got going on in this one? Blood Baron main, two Gilded Goose as the ramp five and six creatures, a Hostage Taker main, Slaughter Games instead of Unmoored Ego. Uh, in the side, we've got a bunch of stuff. Anything interesting? Scarab God. Rending volleys. Yeah. Good old Niv. One Nahiri main. Four Teferis. Gotta have the Teferis. QB Turtle 15 with Black Red. This is Black Red. And this is a Croxa deck. This is trying to. This is Black Red mid range. It's trying to kill things. It's trying to lean on Croxa for, as a finisher. Glorybringer as well. Chandra Torture Defiance is good. This is a this is black red mid. This is what we saw up above as Jund without the green. Same basic idea, just how you go about it is differently. Call it Clow with Golgari Stumpy. Coco. Regisar, big green stuff. Scrap Peak Scrounger, I don't recall that always being in the builds, but it's a good tweak. 
Shadow Spear and Heart of Kirin. Yep. Galari Snoppy there. Abnormal Euphoria with Spirits. Uh, Bant Spirits. And this is a pretty straightforward build. It's kind of hard to argue with 9 4 buys, right? 9 4 ofs and 24 lands. That's pretty straightforward. Pretty streamlined. Burnett 7 with the Lotus Field combo deck. Lotus Breach. And yeah, there's your Lotus Breach deck. Shows up in every dump. Lean with a 5 0 with Kethis combo. One of these days, I'm going to have somebody show me how exactly this deck works. I've got the basic idea, but I know it's trying to recur things over and over out of the graveyard. But, uh, yeah. So, Kethis combo there. Disposable Hero with Gruel Aggro. Funless. I've mentioned before, this was the last thing I played in paper before... Stores started closing for the quarantine, and I do love do love me some Gruel Agro. Powerhawk with a 5-0 with uh, another Gruel Agro deck. This one, so let's compare the two, right? Since we can fit them both on the screen, it looks like. Uh, Disposable Heroes list is a little bit bigger. We do not have any Bushwhackers. And it's relying, it looks like it's relying a little more on Hazaret, Domri, and Embercleave. Or Powerhawk's list is smaller. It's the Bushwhacker faster deck. Rakdos Cackler, four Galias instead of one. Annex with Embercleave as kind of the finishing combo. Four Burning Tree Emissaries in both lists. So uh, Powerhawk's list is a little faster, a little smaller. A little more explosive, but probably also a little more fragile. Uh, Hazaret does work if you get her in play. Uh, so interesting combination there, seeing these two decks back to back. I like that. Barutina with another Heliod deck. Uh, Sky Sovereign main in this one. And a little bit more of the enchantment. Hate the Gideon's intervention and some enchantment-based removal. Gideon of the Trials. More Gideons in the sideboard. This is definitely the I don't want to be beaten by Demir Inverter build of Mono White. Null Insanity with... What do we got going here? This is a black-white mid-rangey control -y deck. Probably a control deck. We've only got four creatures. Two Lyras and two Murderous Riders. And then a bunch of Gideons and Lilianas. Some uh, hand disruption. Yeah, black-white control. Interesting list here. Lucas261997 with uh, the Sultai. Uh, Sultai. Sultai Delirium. Yeah. I don't see any new stuff in here off the top of my head. Maybe the one Ashiok main is is a recent innovation. But yeah, here's your Sultai Delirium list. JB Spec 3 with a black-red. So this is similar to what we saw earlier, but it look, this is a little bit of a faster deck, I think. Um, black-red Pyro. Interesting. There are a few tweaks in this uh, in this dump on the black red archetype at various levels between aggro and mid. Uh, YB Lime, Y Blime, I Blime, with uh, mono green walkers. Yep, good deck. Good deck. It's uh, definitely making itself known in the metagame. Frexian twenty eight with. What do we got here? There's a lot of stuff in this deck. So we are... This is an Obzon. It's Obzon Coco. Every creature in the deck except Questing Beast is a Coco hit. And Galta. Uh, I'm 
a little surprised we're not seeing more Anafenses. I think that's a card that's underplayed right now. Nice. If you like the old Obzon Coco, uh, Obzon Agro, Obzon Mid lists from the uh, Tarkir days, uh, here you go. Here's uh, the Pioneer version of it as envisioned by Phyrexian 28. Epatake with the Sram Auras deck, Orzov Auras. Pretty straightforward here. I don't see. It's not a whole lot of room in this deck to uh, innovate much. It's kind of like bowls in modern, where you're kind of locked into maybe 56 out of your 60. Uh, and I think we're about in the same place now with this deck. Uh, my friend Elliot's a, a big proponent of this deck. Loves loves playing this deck. Uh, it's one I, I want to try when I can get back to playing in paper again. Poke King with a Bant Control deck. Only creatures with three Uros. We got four Supreme Verdicts, a bunch of counter and draw, and Planeswalkers. So if you want a little more variance in your control deck than you get in blue-white, here's a Bant version. Uh, SS Ajemba. S Ajemba. I don't know how that's pronounced, but you got on the in the dump here with a Crush of Tentacles deck. Nice. I have not seen that card in a bit. My son loves this card. We've tried to make this work so much. What do we got going here to make this happen? We've got Corsos. We've got Nissa. We've got Tamio. Ugin. Briber's Purse. Oh, this is a fun list. This is a fun list. I like this. Nice job. Sajimba. S. Sajimba. Very nice list. I like this. i got to show this to my son. He's going to love this. We may have to try to build this. I think we've got everything in it. Maybe that we don't have the fourth Uro. Yeah, that looks like fun. Sirius with Mono Red. And this is... So this only has one Ember Cleave, two Anax. Ash Zealot, interesting. Nice. Uh, Atarka's Command and Lightning Strike. So this is... It's splashing green solely for Atarka's Command. And maybe stuff on the side. Anything on the side. Destructive Revelry. Um, interesting list. Yeah, a little bit of a different tweak on, on the Atarka Red. Simple Liquid with an Indomitable Creativity deck. Pirates Pillage. Sweltering Suns. Chain to the Rocks. This is a fun one. Angel of Serenity. Dragon Lord Colagon for the haste. Amric Void Winnower. I love the groans you get when you cast that in Commander. A bunch of Planeswalkers. Interesting deck. No artifacts. So, though you're so, I guess the idea here is you pirates pillage for four mana. You create two uh, artifact, the treasure tokens. Create two of those. Next turn, you creativity for X equals two. Sack the two treasure tokens. And then you get two of these four creatures. Because Indomitable Creativity only goes for artifacts or creatures. There are no other artifacts. There's no artifacts in the deck. Here's your four creatures. And you're going to have fun with these guys, right? If you end up hitting... Colagon on and any of the other two, you know, any of the other three as your one, you are in a very good uh, spot. Nice. I like it. Uh, David Beaudry with another Heliod deck. This one's only got two. Three Archangel Avacyn. This is a blue white. So this is the white splashing blue uh, devotion deck. So Brazen Borrower and Teferis are your and Spellqueller. 
are your blue splashes. So a little more controlly version of mono white to get the the blue, you know, with the blue splash there. Eye of Ugin is at least playing colorless stuff uh, in Soul Artifact deck. Is it artifacts? Sorry, is it in Soul? Uh, one Hope of Girapur, frequently you see two. We got Bomat Couriers. So this is Jess Guy. Oh no, that's blue red. No, nope, there's no white. Sorry. Yeah, Bomat Couriers. Yep, here's your is it in Soul deck. Uh, Schlumpf 07 with another Niv Mizzet deck. This one, Kunaros Main, two Hostage Takers, Deputy of Detention. This is much more on the creature based side. Uh, which appeals to me. 26 lands instead of 28, as we saw in the other niv Mizzet deck. Uh, Enter the God Eternals main, both Slaughter Games and Unmoored Ego. Four Paradise Druid and four Caryatids for the ramp creatures. Yeah, this is this is a little more aggressive than the earlier niv Mizzet deck we saw. It's, it's on the scale, right? There's... There's varying levels to which it... Niv Mizzet is so flexible. Uh, you can do many, many different things with the deck. Neil Sabell with another Is It in Soul deck. This one has spring leaf drums and all that glitters. This one is the Jeskai version. Oh, this is Esper. Tezzeret's Touch. Bomat Courier. Do we have any red? Well, we've got... Aether Hub Mana. So this is kind of a four color. Four color and soul. I've not seen four color and soul. This is cool. I like it. Evolution in, in an archetype. Always a great thing to see. I like four color deck, and he's still playing two mana vaults. That's that's a statement. Uh Capri Capricioso. Capricioso. I butchered that horribly. I'm sorry. This is Hardened Scales. Uh, black Green Scales. Floated around the fringes for a while. The deck, it, it was one of the things early on. Uh, some of the early bans in the format hurt this deck, but good to see it come back every now and then. And our last deck for today PT Arts to Win with Blue White Spirits. Uh, three to Fairies, three Empyrean Eagles. I think the blue-white deck is a little less tempo-y than the Bant deck, and a lot of people like that as a result. I've definitely seen, uh, you know, we see both of them in most lists, in most dumps, I should say. So, anyway, that is it for today's dump. Some definitely cool stuff in here today. Really good to see some uh, some innovation, even with the, um, what was it, Magic Fest at home going on. Uh, definitely some people still playing in the leagues and still testing stuff out. And uh, we got some new stuff to look at. I like it. If you like what I'm doing here, thanks for listening. I appreciate it. Do please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when my next video comes up. And uh, again, really appreciate the time you spend with me here. And tomorrow we will be looking at modern. Thanks a bunch. Stay safe out there. Have fun. Bye-bye.